Flags representing different Pacific Islands led the charge. A banner reading, our house is on fire. Tell me what our front line looks like. This is what our front line looks like. Indigenous and Pacific Islander communities front and center. We may not have been born there or maybe we were born there, but we still have connections to there and our city does need to realize that their own youth have been affected by this and their own city will be affected by this in the future. Their peers and environmental activists marched alongside them in solidarity. And indigenous communities are suffering first and worse. And as a white person who isn't suffering as much, I feel the need and the responsibility in my heart to take on some, some work for them. The group Portland Frontline Youth Communities and Allies made a list of demands to city commissioners. The students and allies gathered at Terry Shrunk Plaza across from Portland City Hall to send a message to commissioners that they want climate action now. Mayor Wheeler showed up and they gave him this list of four demands. There is no question that these frontline communities, these historically neglected or ignored communities have suffered the most from environmental degradation. We need every decision made. One demand of City Hall, declare an international climate crisis to show urgency and create policies and laws to end support of fossil fuels. Another, communities most impacted by climate change need to be at the center of climate justice talks. Don't take the mic, be the mic. They also want the city to create a climate test. So every decision made keeps the environment in mind. There's a new day in America. Wheeler says the demands are well thought out and he supports their asks. You've heard them say they want us to declare a climate emergency and take it seriously. We're prepared to do that. We're prepared to take steps, very specific action steps to acknowledge that urgency. You can't just say that you stand in solidarity. You have to actually do something to prove that you stand in solidarity and you have to do it consistently. It can't just be one time. Morgan Romero, KGW News.